Uh, six minutes to go, and at the top, it's still that Performance Tech Motorsport car. In fact, just gone better, Jer a little bit quicker, Jeremy. Yeah, 43-0 for uh, Matteo Urena there from Guatemala, uh, the 17-year-old. That's a pretty impressive effort. He didn't get a chance to drive the car last week in the six hours. Uh, he wasn't originally on the entry list here for uh, this weekend, but uh, he's got an opportunity to drive the car finally. So you make a good fist of it, goes another 10. Yeah, it's another improvement for uh, Urena there, 142.6. John Bennett up into second place, 143.3 for core order sporting car 54. Quicker again there for Urena on this lap, although he's now come up right behind Jim Cox, coming out of turn six. Oh, that's an unfortunate place to, ca to catch Jim Cox. He's going to have to go down the inside into turn seven. That's going to compromise his line a little bit down there in that performance tech motorsports car number 38. Urena, he makes the pass, but it'll probably cost him a little bit of time, I'm, I would be uh, almost sure. So, well done anyway to Matteo Lamena. Happy little camper. Oh, I think it'd be a very happy camper indeed, yeah. Um, brings the red, silver and black number 38 with the red number one on the side. I have to say, I didn't notice the Alitalia sponsorship on that uh, last weekend. If it was there, I apologise. Uh, classic motorsport sponsor. You remember back to the old rallying days uh, with them on uh, a number of Lanciers and various other Italian cars, Fiat Mia Fiori 131s, uh, and also in circuit racing as well, the Alitalia branding. That's a, a nice thing to see back on there. Bit of a throwback, Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen that name on the side of a race car for a long time, I must admit. I haven't really probably paid attention, but, uh, but yeah. Like the hairstyle, too. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> you, you, you say that, Jeremy, because you're rocking hair that's longer than that at the moment with your lock, I'm, I'm lockdown too. I've changed that now. Have you? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. OK. The lockdown do is gone, has it? The lockdown yeah, locks yeah. have been lopped. Yeah, the Larry Holt locks are gone. Yeah, OK. Uh, new engine Tuesday, Paul on Thursday for the 38. And a penalty on that session as well. Share, Adam. Car number 84, causing a red flag. Loss of two fastest qualifying laps. So it has already been enforced by race control. And we wait to see how that affects the grid for tomorrow. Well, if it's... Uh, on i'm looking at the moment at the uh the alcamel timing and they've still got a 43 6 next to that car so if it's already been enforced then it will stay on the outside of the second row pretty sure that uh, won't stay there it's not up on the timing page yet, so I can't go back and actually track each of the lap times, but I'll let you know when I can. 